the old uh, Wally World. Ty and I. Say what up, Tyler. Yo, getting ready to go. We're loaded down. We got the rad bikes. We got the guns. We got all our gear for four days of chasing sheep. What do you think, Ty? Just gotta find a sheep. Redemption time. There's a sheep right now. It's taking a dump for the last time today. It's <laughs> gonna die tonight. That's true. So, Hopefully. Tyler was down here in April. And uh, we tried some uh, OTC Barbary sheep, and we we found some sheep, and we got some shots, but we had some miscalculations, so we dialed in wrong, and we missed. So we're back to redeem ourselves and put some sheep on the ground. So I've never killed a barb. Ty's never killed a barb. So we're gonna have some firsts on this trip for sure, right? Right. Heck yeah. I'd let you see what's behind me, but they need to know where I am, so I can't. Well, we're on the mountain. Our packs are pretty heavy <laughs> already. <laughs> Just about to get on the uh, the old rad bikes. Got the camper all set up. Well, it's still hooked up to the truck for right now, but we want to get down on the mountain and start glassing, so we're dropping down there about two and a half miles with the bikes, hopefully, and then hopefully we'll be in sheep, so next time you hear from us, hopefully we're saying sheep just got to where we ditched the bikes. We're gonna be dumping just off of this ridge here. And I'll uh, be able to overlook what we were hunting in April. In April we always came up from the bottom, so we did some research on the maps and found a way to get in here. We were able to take the rad bikes pretty much all the way in here. There was a few places we had to walk them. Pretty rugged terrain in here, but we're getting ready to go do a bunch of elk signs, really fresh. And we thought we saw what looked like some Barbary sheep tracks, but could have just been a small elk. Hard to tell, I don't really know how to tell the difference. So, anyways, we're just hiking out to this little ledge, and uh, we'll just perch up for the rest of the night and try and get something spotted. Hopefully be able to make a move tonight, but if not, I have a good idea where to start in the morning. So, we'll see you in a minute. Well, day two of our Barbary sheep redemption hunt. <laughs> I got my man-made sling here. Not sure what happened to me last night, but mid-sleep, I woke up in pain. It felt like somebody had hit me in the arm with a baseball bat. It hurts pretty bad, but the tough guys hunt. Wussies don't. So here we go. <laughs> we got about uh, an inch of snow last night. It's gonna make these cliffs and ledges and everything really slippery. It's actually snowing right now. It's not come down hard, but kind of nice and peaceful. So time to make it happen. Um, I spent the morning checking our rifles. Good thing I did, because my gun was, the turret had been turned and uh, something was off with it anyway. Reset that and uh, I would have been shooting. I don't know, probably six, seven feet high yeah. at four or five hundred yards. Yeah, it wouldn't have been good if we would have saw sheep last night. <laughs> As uh, Jeremy always says, everything happens for a reason. So anyway, we're both dialed in. And, uh, Got we... good food in our bellies. Yeah. Uh, Works meat from New Mexico. Thank you to my daughter, Hadley, eight years old, provided <laughs> the food for us this morning. <laughs> And then just to keep us fueled on the mountain, we got some barber sheep jerky. <laughs> and deer jerky from Idaho. Yeah, because we run on wild meat. So that's how we roll. Anyway, time to go drop something and get some more wild meat. Anyway, we'll keep you updated. Meh. <laughs> canyon it's got some cliffs and I just had a feeling and I said you want to go check that that canyon to the south before we go and Tyler's like sure so we pop over 
And as soon as we pop over, I look down and I'm like, get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. And they, they went over the hill so we didn't get them. So we went around and then we came around on this little bench. Tyler dropped a really good U and we're just sitting here. It's so foggy. We can't even see the rest of the herd. We're like just trying to wait for the fog. We can hear them running in the rocks. And then I'm like, I hear rocks below us. And we look down and I'm pretty sure it's about a 20, 22 inch ram. He came out 200 yards. Tyler's like, just shoot my gun. So I just grabbed his gun and Oh, so yeah, we got a U on the ground, a decent U, and and a fairly decent ram. We're pretty positive the ram's down. When I shot, Tyler saw him jump straight up like a mule deer and almost nosedive, and then he went over the edge. But we can see Tyler's U. She's just laying down here about yeah. 130 yards below us. So Yeah, pretty exciting. Day two, the sheep hunt. It hasn't even been 24 hours, and we had a really crappy night, so... This, uh, this just tops welcome. it off. <laughs> this, this makes it all worth it right here. We, we were coming down in here today, and um, Tyler kind of spent, turned it around so they can see up the canyon. So we come in from up there, and it's so foggy. We're like, oh man, we might not even be able to see. And I was like, let's just hope we're going to get below the fog. And we did. What do you think, Ty? Pretty stoked. Yeah, this is, like I said, our redemption hunt. So I'm really glad we're not going to go home empty handed. Our wives would be pretty ticked. <laughs> my wife wouldn't care. <laughs> Tyler's wife might be ticked. My wife, my wife would be pretty upset, so I feel good to knock your tag. So. There's Ty's you. She's laying down there right in front of that uh, yucca. You can kind of see her horns. Sorry, I'm shaking. I'm a little excited and a little cold, so. But anyways, she, uh, they were right off this ledge right here. And Tyler popped over and shot. Um, she died right there, and then we heard them running over there, the whole herd. And then I thought I heard something closer, and my ram came out right there. He got right on the edge, and I shot, and I think he just dropped right over this hop, so. Well, we're just going to retrieve my sheep. Drop a pin on it. We'll bone it out later. And this is uh, it's pretty rough terrain. This is an easy part right here. We were just rock climbing a minute ago. <laughs> Jeremy's, I think, rolled off a cliff, so we gotta figure out a way to get his sheep out of here. Rough and rugged terrain. We're close to the sheep, so. She's right there. Just up just barely. Pokies on everything. <laughs> Look at all those. <laughs> everything has thorns or fangs. That's a ram, I think, man. Yeah, that's a ram, buddy. Yeah. Look at that shot. Money. <laughs> Check the leg, check the leg, make sure there's a man part. But well, I'm pretty sure that's a small ram, dude. Oh, that's a you. Is it you? Oh, no. Yeah, that's a ram. Ram? Yeah, that's a ram. That's a big young ram. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Nice, bro. Oh, let me pull this and flip this thing on the station. Ah. Oh. Yeah, got a little mane on the front of there. Good chefs, yeah. Awesome. Turn him around facing straight away from me. What do you think of that, Ty? Stoked, first ram ever. Stinky. Yeah. Stinky, stinky. That's okay. Dude, I'm stoked. Heck yeah, bro. <laughs> Let's go find yours. Cool. Go, go to that side of it. Screw how he pulls. Yeah. Yeah, help me for sure. Wow, this rock here. 
It's not too bad though. Yeah, that's what I did. I was gonna say, put your pole across. And then I just sat on this and slid off of it. This bush. Just kinda, yeah, just hold your body weight up with your arms. So you want to be a sheep hunter, do you? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's rugged country for sure. Now I gotta climb down off of this and down to there, and then my sheep is over that. So we shot from way up there. Tyler's sheep's right on that bench. My sheep was right here when I shot. Just came down. There he is. We found him. better two rams night the fire outdoors go follow us on instagram we're both going to have youtube channels up and running soon um, unfortunately this happened so fast we didn't get any of that i might have got his shot on film i don't know i'll have to go look it's I'm, i was a little distracted <laughs> we, it, was, it was a cluster for a second there but this, this here's snow my is... here's my ram and look at this snow you can't really see it very well but it's, it's flying sideways right now it's rolling <laughs> It's a blizzard in here right now. You can see it on my hat. <laughs> it's coming, so we're gonna get to work on this sheep, and uh, we're probably just gonna bone mine out tonight and haul it out, and then we'll come in in the morning and bone out Tyler's and haul it out, and then we'll be done. So, Barber Sheep Redemption. We were here for a week, five days. Yeah, four. Five days in April. Haven't even been here 24 hours now. Yeah, we're here with our buddy John. And I actually got a uh, ram. I thought it was a ewe when I first walked up on it. But it's a young ram, so that's what we wanted. Take it. Thank you. We will. Happy. Just got all that loaded up. My pack's down there. It's probably 125 pounds <laughs> or more. There's the carcass. Um, there was not snow on these bushes when we started putting my sheep. And so you can see how much it has snowed. <laughs> so this is gonna be fun getting out of here. But uh, we got it done quick because there's two of us working on it. So now, we decided we were gonna just try and get up and get Tyler's sheep done too and just take them both out tonight. So it could be a long, heavy pack out. have a whole sheep and all our gear in our packs because we don't want to have to come back in here so and it dumped three inches of snow so it's kind of slippery Woohoo! here's Ty coming in we made it back to the truck a little bit before he did so he's on his final 50 yards it took us about three hours well, maybe three and a half hours a little over three miles packing these sheep out and we each had a whole sheep and all of our gear but it saved us from having to go back down there tomorrow and get more so 
What do you think, Ty? Brutal. <laughs> Oh. Going so cold it won't fo won't focus. <laughs> we made it, dude. 